Thomas Merton once said that really the, the spiritual life is all about moving towards more and more authenticity. And so often we have to divest ourselves of images of ourselves that may not serve us any longer. So in what ways might images of ourselves even intensify that stress? Well, I think uh, we build up expectations of what we think is a success story for us. Um, I mean, I, as I went through my careers and I, you know, I hit this high peak as a, uh, in a high position in the federal administration, I thought, man, it's all I've ever wanted. And then I went to my law firm and I became a senior partner and I thought, wow, I'm on top of the world. And then I came here and uh, dean of the law school, I thought, gee, that's, and it was all just building up into uh, other opportunities. So we've got to get rid of that self-image and say, um, we're not in control of that. We have other people that are in control of it and we have uh, the Holy Spirit in control of it. I also think our culture suggests to us that we're supposed to be in control of everything mm -hmm. and that there are a lot of images that, you know, that, our, that culture gives us that, um, that, that you know, sort of feed into that. I certainly see that in the students that I work with uh, here at the university. They, they often uh, feel that they, they have to excel in absolutely every category that, and that nothing else will do. They have to be you know, stellar students and star athletes and you know, uh, highly successful socially and you know, a, a accomplished in all of these ways. And, and many of them are extremely accomplished in, in a great many ways, but, but obviously no one can hit perfection in all categories. And so to, uh, I often, uh, on a number of occasions, I'm asked to give talks about finding balance. And I honestly think one of the most, the best things I can do is to say honestly, um, how much a work in progress my own life is in that regard in terms of uh, managing stress and trying to find balance and I think to be open about the fact that it's, an, it's, it's very much a work in progress and that there are no easy answers um, and that really it's a it's a day-to-day -day, you know uh, trying to work that out and some and self-acceptance um, you know to sort of acknowledge where you are and to not be really hard on yourself if it, you know if if you aren't uh, you know getting A's in absolutely right. every class. Yeah. Yeah. I think Ian you say it very well we're all works in progress, right? I, I mean, I, I think of myself being surrounded by orange cones and uh, uh, under construction. 